Powered by Vip Blaster. All right, guys. How's it going? Brian Brushwood here from my little show, The BB Live Show. As you know, I am a tremendous fan of Vid Blaster, and one of the things I get asked a lot is how to do multiple people Skyping in at the same time using Vid Blaster to create the split screen or quad screen effect, kind of like you see right here. Night show. So, uh, Before you got uh, uh, Brian, Brian, I want you to PayPal me $5 for staying quiet that entire time. <laughs> you know what? $5 uh, does not I, I even asked begin. I one relevant question. And that was it. All right. So if you want to do effects like that, we're able to jump to different people who look like they're right there in studio with you, but actually have them Skyping in. I'm putting together this little tutorial to show you exactly how to do that. In order to pull this off, there's really only two things you need. You need, of course, a working version of Vid Blaster, and you need a call-in program, either Skype or Uvu. Skype works great if you just want to have one person on. If you want to have more than one host in, you can have Uvu, or as I do, I actually use both. I use Uvu to have my co-hosts on because it supports multiple callers in at the same time, and I use Skype for people who want to call in from the audience. So do help us out with our illustration. We are actually on the line from the Magic Newswire, Mr. Dodd Vickers. How are you doing, Dodd? Good, Brian. How are you today? I'm doing very well. You don't mind being the guinea pig in this arrangement, do you? No, happy to. Love your show. Uh, you and I have been friends for a long time. Happy to help in any way I can. Fantastic. Okay, so let's walk the folks through it. So the first thing you want to do, now you can see what I've done is I'm, this is a section of my desktop where I just happen to have Skype open. So within Vid Blaster, you'll notice that here's how I have my camera set up. Camera number one is this wide angle shot where you can see the entire studio. Camera number two is this close up shot where I'm looking into the camera. Camera number three is currently on nothing. You can actually see it right there on nothing right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to right click. I'm gonna make sure it's on screen capture. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna select capture and I'm gonna select select area four by three. When I do this, I'm going to jump over so we can watch Dodd at the same time. Right click on it, capture, select area four thirds. The four thirds locks the aspect ratio. So I'm going to click in the upper left hand corner. I'm going to drag to the lower right hand corner. And when I let go, now we're going to have, you don't see anything happening here, but now if you look at the vid blaster, camera number three shows Dodd full screen right over here. So now when I click, it jumps over. It looks like we got a camera right on you. It looks like you're in the studio. I am right there, aren't I? <laughs> yes, we, we have developed a transporter. We have new technology <laughs> available. It's incredible. <laughs> so if you want to take it a step farther, you're going to want to set up some of the video effects. Now, over here, we've got video effect one. Let me drag this over so you can see a close-up of it. There you go. Video effect number one, you see sh previews, a side-by-side -side view of the two of us. So here I am on the left, and you're over there on the right. If you want to take it a bit farther than that, you can actually set up some specific video overlays. Now, most of the time when I'm talking, I'll throw up a lower third with my name on it using a PNG. I'm just using Photoshop to create that file. And then you can also, here we go. This is kind of a funky looking one right here. If you turn it on in the middle with this screen, it doesn't make much sense. But you'll notice that lines up exactly with this split screen view. So you see me there on the left, it says Brian Brushwood, Austin, Texas, and I just put live via Skype on the other side because I never know who's going to call in. It turns out that I always have different people. I actually take random calls from the public for this. Have you ever, have you ever seen that, Dodd, when I take random calls from people? Never. <laughs> <laughs> You, it seems like every call is random on your show. <laughs> it is a very random show. All right, so we could go a step farther on this and actually do the quad effect. Now, in this case... The quad we, laser. The quad laser, as I like to call it. In this case, we only have three cameras that are being used, so I fill in the fourth spot with sort of a static animation. This is just a looping BB logo that goes all the time. Let me show you how we do this. So we'll go to the wide shot right here. So you can see over here in video effects, we've got the side by side. I just created another module for video, video effects over here for the quad setup. When I'm setting up the quad setup, I set up the upper left hand as camera number one, upper right as camera number two, lower left as player number one, and lower right as camera number three. And when we do that, we end up with a very professional looking setup. If you want to have multiple, now in this case, two of the cameras are right here in the room. But if you wanted to have multiple people calling in, remember what I said. It's the exact same process. Now, in this case, we've got one big window with Dodd over here. If we had Uvu, it would split up with two little windows, and all you'd have to do is set up individual cameras. And again, it's the exact same procedure. What do you do? You just uh, you would, there we go, you would right-click on camera one, 
do capture area four thirds, select one area, and then you do the exact same thing for the next camera as well. That's a quick and dirty way for you to get a quad effect or one of those fancy CNBC, Fox News looking split screens. Hope that works for you guys. Any questions about that, Dodd? Well, no, I just wanted to mention, I think that people would be interested to know. I mean, you get, you and I are about a thousand miles apart. Oh, yeah. And the video quality of your video on Ustream is fantastic compared to most of the other shows that I've seen using BidBlaster. I mean, you remember what it was in the early days before you started using that program. And it's oh, yeah. been just fantastic. And, and the ability for you to add in the interactivity, which is a big part of your show, bringing in your Twitter stream and showing that on the screen or showing your comments, you might want to touch on that. Yeah, well, and keep in mind also that I'm handling everything real time. I mean, while I'm trying to look at the camera, I'm over here, I'm switching from one thing to another. One of the tricks I'll often pull is if I need to grab a quick drink or if I need to set something up, I'll just kick it over to the other person so nobody's looking at me for a few seconds. Since I'm the one that's handling everything, then I'm able to come back and look as though I'm paying attention the entire time. That's my little <laughs> secret. All right, so we're going to have more quick tutorials. If you have any questions about this stuff, you can always get a hold of me. I want you to hit me up at brian at schwood.com. That's S-H-W-O-O-D.com. And, uh, of course, you can check out the BB Live Show at bbliveshow.com. You know, if I was smart, here we go. Look at that. We even have all the contacts there. Cool. <laughs> Take care, guys. Powered by Vid Blaster.